go. Hello, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. We are now on episode 13, The Sea of Sands. So, we are trying to get Poseidon. So, without further ado, let us begin. All right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we need to go into this flooded ruin so that we can capture Poseidon. So let's do that. I moved us up a little higher again. I'm also running some other graphics, so hopefully... Uh, this is a lot better looking than it has been. Please let me know uh, if it's not. I'll turn the HDR off. But yeah, let's let's go. Camping here. Looks like there's something behind that tarp. I was out of I was so close oh, to drowning maybe not not to the embers M Moreland it's over well not for me it's not then you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> so, there's an ancient city under the sand. But it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora spear maiden appears. Yeah, okay. Um. Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a layperson to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. capsule. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. <laughs> She's a stranger. You got a name? Hey, Lloyd. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um. <sighs> well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. All right. Why are you here? What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well... <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, 
An ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but, but, but with a proper spark, these magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. Okay. Embers? So these embers project images? Paintings of light. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen, beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? Over time, they die out. I cried the day that this one's light faltered. But there are many more below. As you'll see, if you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me. Excellent. Grandfather? How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here. 40 odd years ago. He, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. Took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but well, we never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show. One unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true Delver. And a true showman. And I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. Of course. So what happened? So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow my old Gramps' footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy that- uh, Right. Again. What happened? At the bottom we beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women, and games and coins and promises of jackpots. I don't know what that is, but it's gotta be good. But then, something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. It's like a strange underwater dream. Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well, suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. Explosion of water? So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken, but not stirred. I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbot Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane. But I can't give up now. I, I, I've, just, I've come too far. And the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. Maybe you can. All right. Your friends? You guys don't seem like average Delvers. We're not really Delvers at all. We're, we're showmen. Like performers? You're Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. 
We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks, and Abaddund, he, well... Complains? He handles the money, which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. Okay. Can I swim down? How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osserum to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid <laughs> depths, I'd say it's apt. Apt or not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. Right on. So I'll go get the parts. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. Hey. Schematics discovered a diving mask. So we need to gather the machine parts. So and do so by the herd. There's some our stash right here. So let's go ahead and restock. Well, good thing that Aloy showed up. Let's check with this guy. Probably get a Oh, guest list of 50. <laughs> so, we need at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no, for him, scrappers up. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. <sighs> we were going to move on. Leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. I've heard that before. <laughs> Trade Moreland. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows. Back when it was, it was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. He bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. Without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. But sometimes, a dream has to die. I did differ. Moreland's dream. Dream of Moreland's is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have, we'll have special seating, uh, premium ale, the works. Uh, Moreland will do his, his light spectacle thing. Uh, Stemmer will get their eyes a sparkling with his tails and I'll be selling tickets. <laughs> It's a nice thought, anyway. Okay, the shows? Orland mentioned you were showman. What? An Osram can't be anything other than a, a, a Delver tinker or drunkard? <laughs> okay, sure, we are Delvers too, but that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, putting on shows. 
These shows, what are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Uh, um, Moreland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled. Tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. Yeah, that. And you? Me. <laughs> Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> those two, eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> no, they don't. Okay, the Delph. So Moreland was down in this ancient city, and the three of us went down below. You? I can delve too. Right. And uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in. We ran. And Moreland built that blasted thing. He nearly got himself drowned twice. Hey, you want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. Okay. Well, I don't think we can trade anything. Because we definitely don't have the shards. Could sell, though. I think we have some resources to sell. Let's uh, oh, say goodbye for now. Alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. All right. Let's see what we can do. Oof. There we go. Holy cow. Got the compressed air capsule. Now, to get all the machine parts. We'll find a way to get the embers. I know we will. Optimism. It's great. Right up to the point you stumble into Jaws. Here. That's the cool. They save your hide, but Drone. Must be part of Cyclops. If I can get its data, I can reconnect it with the dome back at the base. But I need to get up there. Campfire. Bird should be close by. Well, this is where Moreland said the herd would be. They must have moved on. I need to pick up their tool. Better look for tracks. There. Tracks should lead me to the herd. Cool. Alright, let's follow these. the herd. I should have the parts I need. Oh! No! That was a huge mistake. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ooh, what are you? You're a frost. Alright. So, fire. Oh! Get close to him. There we go. Critical strike you. 
pick you down. You down. Critical strike you. All right. Okay. Got them all. Now where did the herd go? Goodness. Where did they go? Let's see if they went up here. Excellent. They went this way. Boy, did they move. There's another cross glint hawk. Gonna be fun. I get a there's another one? Where? Right there. Alright, let's see if we can get around these rebels. Easy. against fire. That's not going to be good on you. Oof. Jump. 
There you go. Come on. There we go. Take that. Get through this storm here. One synthetic membrane. There we go. We got what we need. Ooh, don't get those. Ooh. What is shooting me? go I'll take that pain subsiding nice now we need to get back to Mortland over to a new campfire it's nice we're gonna go that way go should be doing pretty good here back here build our part I know I can fast travel sand scraping at my armor oh there we go Man, it's dark in here. Come on, bench. What can we I go. do for you, partner? All right, I've got the parts. I've got everything I need to build the uh, the incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. Yeah. Don't quibble. The workbench is all yours. Nice. Now it's not so dark in here for some reason. Special gear. Grab this. Craft it. All right. Now we have a diving mask. That is amazing. And we have a pouch upgrade. Cool. Upgrade that. You can upgrade it again. Nice. Uh, it's fully upgraded. That's really awesome. Let's go to our weapon upgrades. We can upgrade this. And again. Nice. We're almost fully upgraded on that. Let's go to this. Nice. Almost fully upgraded on that. Cool. That's it for there. Let's go to our traps. Cool. That's it for trap crafting. Awesome. Whoa. There's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I... I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. <laughs> Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light from a spot 
near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. Or a warning. Yep. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay. Time to see if this thing works. Excellent. There we go. Time to dive. I can actually breathe down here. Nice. Mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Is this? Much of it. This way. Ab. Las Vegas, May fourth, twenty sixty. Twenty years ago this week, Stanley Chen broke a ground on one of the most ambitious construction projects in American history, even though Many Americans didn't want him there as he struck his spade against Chinese political influence had turned oh, the spade into the barrel soil. The CEO quipped how resentment against Chinese political influence had turned Vegas into a boiling hotbed of natural nationalistic sentiment, but how his immense fortune had cooled that down finally warming american warning no warming americans to his idea of a new las vegas wow that's a lot cool wait oh i'll get off that there we go Go. Oh. Nautical lights. I must be Poseidon's doing. That looks like a way out. Poseidon's down here, somewhere. Gotta find where it's hiding. Alright, we'll go this way. Holy cow! There's no way I can fight that thing underwater. I'll have to be careful. There you will. This place is massive. All of it's encased in a dome. Yes. 
Find a nearby hiding spot so underwater enemies lose sight of you and lose interest. Just a chest. We gotta figure out this current, man. Find the red light. I'm guessing it's down there. like it's right down there. and drain all the water. I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. Okay. Can't go that way. Saying it's that way. Why not? No. the access point. Should lead me to the pump node. Alright. Let's go. Network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. something I can climb to get out.
goodness. Where? we go. Here's a ladder. Excellent. Yeah, I need that. Fire gleam right here. Go ahead and ignite some of that. Let's Cool. Let's open this valve. There. One node down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. Cool. Oh. Now it's pitch black. Get over here. There we go. Just that drain. There we go. That's what I was looking for. You missed it. According to the map, the second node should be on the other side of the bed. Where? Over there. Let's follow that guy. But we don't get caught. Again, if we can find our way up. Awesome. Nice. I'll save the extra stock for later. Goodness. I think I can jump over there? Barely. Go ahead and fire gleam that. Okay. Let's see if that helped. Alright, open this up. Taken care of both nodes. Now I just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. Right. Go up 
here. According to the map, the maintenance stations should be at the south end of the dome. be the maintenance station but how to get in exactly Part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. Maybe. Okay, let's see where this leads. Can I get that? Okay. Yeah. Keep this green shine for later. Can we activate that? Nice. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. Got that open. Cool. Cool. Take that. Yes, and we go up there. Yep. Here. Open the door. This looks promising. There should be a console in here. There. Time to draw this place out. Machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get nice. it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Poseidon. Come on. The perch didn't get rid of all of the water. System shutdown is almost done. Only thing left is to power everything down at the control center. So, I guess this is it. One final walk down the strip, and then it slides out forever. At least I won't be around to see it destroyed. The others will be well on his way to Sirius by the time the swarm gets here. Still, my last memory of this place will be empty. A city that's already dead.
refreshing, I guess. Head down. Got a data point over there. That oh, not good. Machine yet. I better look at more cauldrons. City. Well, Goodness. Let's see if I then get a big one first. Can we get away? That. Through there. But where did that machine go? Aloy! It's a miracle! Oh no. Oh. <sighs> come on, come on. Hey, was this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. beheld the beast they knew what they had to do what are you crazy hush now <laughs> she saved our death okay then stay up here and start firing when i engage oh goodness
right, come on. Crazy. All right. Uh, one, find Poseidon. Two, talk to Morlin and the crew. Let's get up here. Come on. Hello? And he did know. Oh, you're gonna climb down now. Come on, gentlemen, get a move on. Good use of this. <laughs> you guys, all right? There we go. More than all right. This. You... We did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, um, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little revenue. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has police yes, down here. Is she not? Right. Of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. All right. So that's done. Now we need to find Poseidon. I'm guessing he's up there. Oh, in the door. That's right. Uh, is there another way around? Oh, going through the water. <laughs> Poseidon should be somewhere behind the door. Bring it home. Let's go. I'm getting close to where Runda's crew lost their food rations. She said only a bristleback would be able to sniff them out into the sand. I think that can be arranged. There. I should be able to use that console. Other data point. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master, I'm 
activated. Restoring the sign subordinate function to original code. Excellent. Okay. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. System reboot initiated. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. World and crew must have headed back up to the was like a king We go. Be prepared. I think we go this way. Oh, more mushrooms. Data points here. An elevator. Moron must have built this before the place flooded. Nice to work. Be nice not to have to climb back up. Nice. always wanted. There's another. His dream realized. His old Gramps legacy ensured. Our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Well, come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Emperors back in the claim. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This Very well. Is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. The 
Moreland and crew is going to stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. It is beautiful. Now I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But with all the ruins here, I might want to look around before I head back. And with my new diving mask. And we'll fast travel back to base. And get this puppy wrapped up. First, let's save it. And then we'll travel. Right up to base here. All right. Base is right up there. There we are. Let's get Poseidon connected to Gaia. Poseidon. Aloy, can you come downstairs? Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Got it. Excellent. And Okay. Let's talk to Gaia real quick. I'm back. So I see what is on your mind. Uh our progress. Beta. So I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus, told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's not what I expected. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. And less pessimistic. It is true she overestimated our progress. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. I guess so. Give her time. She may yet come around. Yep. Uh, companions. So there's a few people here now, and they're... learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene to allow him to process this on his own terms. Excellent. Uh, about the old world. Old world discoveries. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city. Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths at their core have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved... Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just... waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. 
When we were at the facility where we found Beta, there were records that said Far Zenith were researching embryogenesis. I know they traded their ectogenic chambers to Zero Dawn, but why were they researching it in the first place? At this point, we can only speculate. Perhaps at one time they meant the Odyssey to be a colony ship, necessitating such technology. As their goals evolved over time, so did their areas of research. So they got more selfish as the risks of staying on Earth kept rising. Okay. Well. Time to go. I'll be off. Farewell. For now. Well, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're new around here, please subscribe. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.